This is a photograph of my mother, Constance Baker Motley, taken around 1961 during the James Meredith case, uh, attempting to integrate the University of Mississippi. She's standing on the steps of one of the federal courthouses in Jackson and is surrounded by two white women who are protesting her efforts and the efforts of the federal government to integrate the University of Mississippi. Hence the placards calling Kennedy out for treason and uh, creating bloodshed in Mississippi, condemning the NAACP. My mother looking out beyond them and people would often ask what was it like for her during the civil rights movement with all these hostile whites around and she often said that it didn't really faze her that much. And in this photograph you can see that her vision is completely beyond them. She just wasn't distracted by the hostility of those around her. She had worked at the Legal Defense Fund as a lawyer starting in 1946, and she had been working many other cases. So by the time the Meredith case came around, she was really a pro. Part of the lawyer's job was to keep the plaintiffs propped up so that they could get through what took years of litigation. Meredith had a lot of difficulty. There were times when he and Charlene and others wanted to abandon it. And Charlene wanted to go back to Wayne State where she had started to go to parties. And at one point my mother said, look, I have a husband and son at home. I want to go home too. But we can't because we have to get through what we're doing. Suddenly, Attorney Motley actually turned into a person and was able to focus on her as a person. But for people in the workplace, she was very single-minded about what she was doing. 